Good morning friends, it's Julie and today we're going to do something different again. We're going to do my morning routine at my desk. I'm not going to show you my um, getting up and getting my teeth brushed and stuff because everybody does those things and I don't think you, you need to, to know all that. I mean, whatever. So we're just going to go through what I do at my desk in the morning to set up for my day, um, including some breakfast and what I need to do as a type 1 diabetic and also have a host of autoimmune issues. There's some meds involved. Let's go through what it looks like and how I set it up. Um, my little It's kind of my self-care routine that I go through and it helps me, because I'm not a morning person, to wake up and to have that quiet time of slowly waking up. And I do a lot of things at my desk. I actually um, do eat breakfast at my desk. Um, if you hear the tippity tap noise, that's my dog. I started talking and he had to come in and see what I'm just doing. So, by the way, if you haven't already, oh, that's the tail wagging on the, come here, I should sit. Okay, he was, his tail was hitting the tripod. Anyways, by the way, if you haven't already, I have a video that is asking for your questions for me. I'm going to do a Q&A video when we hit 500 subscribers. So I'm going to link that above or below and or. So make sure to go over and if you have any questions for me, just go ahead and ask them and I will answer as many as I can when we hit 500 subscribers. I hope you enjoy this video. Now let's start the morning.
postscript time. So I was just going to finish off my our latest junk journal. It is not really like the junk journal treasure treasury journals or whatever. It's more just a bunch of recycled papers. And as I sh um, I did poke holes in them, so there's three holes, and I found this yarn here. And I'll, the other tool is I've got a blunt needle with a big eye, so the yarn will go through, and a scissors. So I've s watched a few videos on this, and this might not be the best yarn or best thing to bind it up, but I've got it. I've got tons of yarn in my stash. Um, so, of course, to get yarn, this is called yarn vomit um, from the middle. And I'm, so a lot of people measure three, like that. Three across is what you need. So that's what I'm going to do. Thread the needle. Oops. Like that. That isn't too bad. Through the middle. And And you leave a tail because that'll be tied up later. Now you go in through the top. Mm -hmm. I want that to be somewhat firm. So the next step would be to go, I'm going to give myself a little bit more slack here. Go back through the middle hole. And I'm holding this tight. Kind of reminds me of those old um, sewing cards we used to have. <laughs> anyway, so now that I've done that, then I go down to the other hole. And you can reverse the order here too. I just put three holes in here. Oops, that fell out. Now, this is a trick that I saw to use a crocodile to uh, punch your hole in here, and it works really well on just paper. If you're doing this through an actual book, some people use books, then um, that's not going to work. So then I'm all the way back to the top. And now I just tie. Okay, I'm going to take my needle out. I think I have plenty of extra yarn here. Okay, I'm going to tie, but I'm going to tuck, go under here so the knot is in the middle. It kind of ties that together. And... This is my first attempt, so I know there's some, maybe some of you out here who are pros at this and cringing, which is perfectly fine. We all have to learn somewhere. So one knot, and I'm going to do another like that, and there you go. If you want to, you can put a bead of glue in here, and I think I will do that just because I don't trust my own um, fledgling skills here, and... Plus, this yarn might not be the more the optimal thing to do. So I'm just using some fabric tack here. I use fabric tack on paper too. So then just trim this, and there you go. I can take my paper clips out like that, and I have my new next traveler's notebook. Uh, this is going to be my next one. I'm a little over halfway through the one I'm working in now. This is a little smaller, I think, and I'm all ready to go. And I did do a flip through of this before. If you want to see it, I will um, link it for you above in a card. But I just wanted to show you something else. I mentioned before that there was a cool old map in here, and it only showed you one side. Here is the other side. Isn't that cool? There's a little bit of discoloration and stuff, but I think that adds to the charm. So that will be the new one, and that was really simple, guys. I think if I'm going to give this a try and see if I like having the sewn binding instead of the staples or the glue. So thanks so much for watching all the way to the end. Have a joyful day. Goodbye.